Great day here at Bow High School. Want to thank our sponsor, Belknap Subaru. Scott Ives, general manager there, really loves to support the community and loves to support high school sports. So if you're a, a parent of a high schooler who's looking for a new car or used car, pre-owned car, go see Scott at Belknap Subaru. He will take very, very good care of you. You want to do business with people that support your children and support your community and support high school sports, go see Scott at Belknap Subaru. Good afternoon, football fans, and welcome to Bow High School in Bow, New Hampshire for a big Division Three football game between the Bow Falcons and the Winnesquam Bears. A couple of undefeated teams going at it today for the top spot in D3 North. My name's Pete Terrier. Got Mike Milletta, Bow Senior, on the other side of the video camera. He's filling in today and doing the video work for and we really appreciate it. We also appreciate the sponsorship from Belknap Subaru, my old friend Scott Eyes, the general manager of Belknap Subaru, stepping up and providing the sponsorship, which enables us to give you this coverage of this great football game on NHSportsPage.com. This winner, as I said, is going to take a big step forward towards the playoffs next year, and we'll get you all the highlights, all the post-game reaction as well. It's Bo and Winnesquam on NHSportsPage.com. They're going to give it to Corvo. He's across midfield. Corvo pushing down towards the Winnesquam 44, maybe the 45 yard line. And that's going to be good for first. Horse here is on the left wing. Harkins with a long count. And Harkins hands it off, Mooney, Mooney inside, and he's going to be stuffed. And Winnesquam will turn it over on downs. Serrano likes to run, and he's going to step up and run. He's got it across the 30. He's got the first down to the 35 to the 40, up near the 43. They spread it out, empty backfield. Serrano in the shotgun. Three receivers left, two on the right. Looking for Harmon, right side. He got by the defense, high in the air. He goes up and gets it, makes the catch. And He's going to go all the way. Tim Harmon takes it in for a touchdown. 56-yard touchdown pass. Serrano to Harmon. Serrano threw it up in the air. Harmon got behind the D, made the play, and went to the house. 6-0 Winnesquam. Now both facing third and four in their own end. Eye formation behind Harkins. Harkins looking to throw. Throws it. It is caught. Nelson or Alford, sorry, and it's a bow first down. Nate Alford on the reception. Of course here, set up on the slot on the left-hand side. Harkins back to throw, rolling to his right, some pressure. He throws it down the middle of the field. It's intercepted, Varney. Varney picked it off, and he's tackled down at the 40. Winnesquam, another turnover. Last time turnover on downs, this time an interception. Harmon's on the right-hand side. Mooney drawing the defensive assignment. They got the spread formation. Serrano with some pressure, rolls left, throws it down the field. Up for grabs, it's tipped, and it's caught by Varney. And Varney has it inside the 10, as that might have been deflected by Mooney. But Varney came down with it on the tip. Serrano still in the shotgun. The running back behind him is Correa, 24. And they're going to pitch it to Correa. He's going to run right. Correa trying to get the corner. Correa at the five, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. And at the end of one, it's Winnesquam six and challenging for more. Bo, nothing. Harmon to the right, along with Aaron Cody, a receiver in the slot on the right. They got three receivers left. Serrano, empty backfield, takes the snap, straight back to throw. He's going to roll, he's under pressure, he's trying to get away, gets away from Alford, throws to the end zone, caught! Touchdown, Harmon! Somehow that got in between the traffic, the bow defenders were there, but it just zipped through all of them, and Harmon caught it in the end zone for another touchdown. 12-0, Winnesquans in the slot on the right as a receiver. Eye formation behind Harkins. He's straight back to throw. He throws it. Pass is caught. LaCourse here shakes one tackler. Got the first down. Still on his feet until he stumbled down across the 40 to the 43. But Harkins to LaCourse here. And a bow first down and the crowd back in. Third and one for Bo. You got to think this is four down territory for the Falcons if they don't get it here. All set. He was on that eye formation. Both in the 
Once again, the same offensive set here for Bo. It's worked. And they give it to Robbins again. First down, bounces off a tackler inside the 40, inside the 35, taken down by Correa, but not until he has another ball first down inside the 35 at the 34 yard line. You got split backs, Robbins and LaCourse here behind Harkins. They hand it LaCourse here, bounces it inside, has the first down. And Bo picks it up on fourth down this time, so a new set of downs inside the 25. Harkins. Offensive lineman number 65 in the middle of it, Robbins and LaCourcier. And they gave it up the middle, LaCourcier. He's got the first down, driving towards the goal line. And he is stopped shy at about the four yard line. But it's a first and goal situation for the Falcons. Robbins and LaCourcier on both sides of that T formation with the fullback number 65. Harkins takes the snap, hands it to LaCourcier. Bo says they're in. So does the official. Bo's on the board. Gavin LaCourcier with a touchdown. Bring up second down and four for Winnesquam. Quickly back to the line. Same setup. Harmon on the right. Varney on the right. Another run up the middle by Snow. Bounces it right. First down. Leaps a defender. And a big dude like that getting it up in the air. On fourth and a yard and a half. And they are going to go for it. Harmon to the right. Varney to the left. McHugh in the slot on the left. You got Snow behind Serrano in the shotgun. Serrano, movement up front for Bo. There's the flag, and that's going to give Winnesquam a free first down. Winnesquam to the line. They're going to send two receivers to each side of the field, actually three, as Snow sets up in the slot behind the line of scrimmage on the left. Serrano looking. Serrano running. Serrano to the right. He's going to tuck it and run. He's got the first down and out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Let's see if they mark him at the 30 or they knock him out of bounds before that. The official's going to spot the ball, I think, at the 31. So that will be enough for the first down. All right, out of the timeout. 34.4 seconds left to go. First and 10 at the 28 for Winnesquam. Korea behind Serrano, fake handoff, going to throw it down the middle, caught by Varney inside the 10. Varney shakes a tackler, and he's in the end zone for a touchdown. 28-yard touchdown pass, Serrano to Cody Varney, and Winnesquam has 19-7 lead with 25.7 seconds left in the first half. Fumble, ball's loose. Does Winnesquam have it? I think they got it. Mooney fumbled it. It was recovered by McHugh. And Winnesquam's going to have the football with 18.9 seconds left in Bow territory on the 30. Serrano now with 11 seconds left. Empty backfield, two receivers right, three on the left. Serrano looking to throw. Now he's going to get up and run. Serrano needs to get into the end zone because time might expire. He's still on his feet, running to the left, and he's going to get in. Christian Serrano, highlight reel run, 30 yards out, and as time expires in the first half, he is given Winnesquam a 26-7 lead on ball. Picking up the pace offensively here. They're going to need to move it quickly as we're already 7.35 left in the third quarter. Here's LaCourcier, big hole up the middle. LaCourcier had one more man to beat. Couldn't beat Cody Varney, but he's got first down yardage inside the 25. You know, you're looking at third down and about seven or eight. Harkins looking to throw, pumps once, throws it down the field. It's caught, Alford! Touchdown, Bo! Nate Alford! A 20-yard touchdown pass from Matt Harkins, and Bo has cut the deficit in half. It's 26 to 13. Pistol formation with the big running back, Snow, behind Serrano. Serrano gets it, loses it, gets it back. Serrano in trouble, trying to get the corner. Serrano hit, breaks a tackle, gets up near midfield. What a play by Serrano. He only gained a yard or two, 
but he could have lost a bunch, and his athleticism and speed was on display, and he saved Winnesquam with a big negative play there. Play in this football game here, Snow behind Serrano in the shotgun, hands it to him, Snow breaks a tackle, and he's got the first down across the 45. Robbins had a hand on him, short of the first down, but Snow is just so big and so powerful, he got the first down. And it is fourth down and one or two here. Serrano in the shotgun with Snow behind him. Serrano takes the snap. Hand off Snow. Snow. He gets the first down. Power run by Jake Snow. He put his head down and marched forward. And a huge fourth down pickup for a first down by Jake Snow and the Winneswan Bears. Harmon's been quiet really the passing game. They haven't used it here in the second half, so watch for it here. Serrano looking to throw. Looking for Harmon. Now he throws it over the middle for Varney. Caught for a touchdown! Cody Varney, his second touchdown reception of the day. Serrano comes up limping, but it's another touchdown for Winnesquam. 32-13. Kick is going to be fielded at the 15. LaCourse here. Excuse me, that's Mooney up the middle. Mooney's got a hole. Mooney at midfield. Mooney at the 40 to the 30. Foot race to the end zone. Justin Mooney, 85-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. And Bo has life. It's 33 to 19. And it is third down and long for Winnesquam. And this Bo crowd is really getting loud. The Bow defense imploring their fans to make some noise as it is third down and long for Winnesquam. Eight and a half to play. Two receivers on the right, two on the left. Serrano with snow behind him. Serrano gets the snap, straight back to throw. Throws it long for Harmon. Harmon goes up, makes the catch. A bobbling catch, breaks a tackle across the 30. Still on his feet, down to the 25. And Tim Harmon, such a big target and so athletic, went up and got it, bobbled it, and brought it down for a big first down for Winnesquam. We got the Winnesquam Bears here, fresh off a 33-21 victory on the road at Bow and it's clinching the South Conference in Division Three, a statement win for Winnesquam this afternoon. Pete Terry, I got Mike Millett, a Bo senior on the other side of the camera, so guys, don't give him too much grief, but a big win by you guys. We got Christian Serrano, we got Jake Snow, Cody Varney, and Tim Harden, and I'll start with you, Christian, because you had a hand in just about everything today. You had four touchdown passes, two of them to each of these guys. You had a touchdown run in the last play of that yep. first half. And then really, I thought the interception that kind of sealed the game when they had a chance to maybe get back in this football game. But what an effort by your team. What does this win mean for you here being your senior year? It means a lot to us. I mean, we've been fighting for this the past three years. We've come up short. We've always had to win the last game. If we didn't win the last game, then we wouldn't get in the playoffs. So I feel like these past, those past three years have pushed us to become who we are today, to become 7-0 and to show that we want to win the state championship and that we aren't a team to like look down on, that we're the real deal. And they are the real deal. And you got some real weapons. I mean, this kid, about 215 pounds, is really low, but he's just hard to bring down. You just hand him the football. I mean, you must have felt it, especially as this game moved along. You know, they got a real good defense. They've given up 19 points in their first six games. You had 26 at the halftime. How good was it just kind of running downhill? It felt amazing, honestly, because we came into this week knowing that they were a hard-hitting team and that they were going to be, they were going to hit really hard, and they were no, they knew what we were doing and how they're going to contain us. So when I broke free on those runs, and it just felt good not being hit at the line. Like our last game, it wasn't very good rushing, but this game, we thought it was going to be even harder. And it turned out that we were very prepared. And I'm so happy about my line. They were so great today. So great, especially TJ. He stepped up big being a sophomore. Yeah, he did. It was amazing. He did. And when Jake Snow wasn't pounding the ball right down their throat, you guys here making plays, you kind of like underneath and, and running roots down the field, and, and Tim Harmon down there stretching the defense. I mean, we, we talk about how they had trouble kind of matching up with both of you guys. They got to worry about this guy running the football, this guy running the football, and a guy like you, Cody, getting open down the field and making plays. Yeah. You got Timmy over there, really tall. It's hard to defend him. Most people can't do it, but it's awesome that 
he's open half the time, and when he's not, I am. So, I mean, our line held up, gave Chris time to throw the ball. I mean, everything just went our way this game. Like, we prepared day in, day out, knowing that we were coming into a hard game, getting ready, and we just knew this is our game. We needed to win this to be uh, first place. So, that's what we did. Yeah, we did. And, Tim, let's talk about having a quarterback like this that can get you the football. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Man, last year it was a different story, but we got a quarterback with good vision this year. Our line holds up. He's able to fit it in a tight window. It's like I didn't think the second touchdown I was going to be able to catch that. I had to react quickly, but he was able to see it and throw a dart. Like he's done all year for us. That's why we're so versatile. We have running game with Jake, and then we can have him open it up with the pass on the play action. It works out well for us on offense, scoring 33 on the best D in Division Three. supposedly. Supposedly. Now, I heard you guys after the game kind of talking about that. The coaching staff was like, all we heard about was that team over there. You guys came in here and took care of business. I mean, that says something, but you can't let up now. You got to no. keep going because oh, no. you still have one more game and then you got the playoffs. We're 7 0 right now, but tomorrow we're 0 0. We start from scratch. Just how we start been. from scratch. We're coming for Braden now. We preach that all, all the time. Every single one we've had this season. Next day we're zero and zero. And we just came in. We came in after all the smack that's been talking around this entire week. We said we're going to show who's the real best defense. And I think we proved that today. Maybe we too. That we can hold up pretty much anyone. All right, so. Christian Serrano, Jake Snow, Cody Varney, Tim Harmon. We're Squam Bears winning our Belknap Subaru. Game of the week. Pat Riberty, the head coach of the Winnesquam Bears, the number one team in Division Three South Conference. How good does that sound? Oh, it feels great considering we've been the last few years, you know, falling short of the playoffs every year. Made the playoffs, now we're the number one seed, you know, it was a big challenge today, but our kids, you know, came to play and we overcame what, you know, we overcame their strong defense and came over top. It was great. And I thought really with the way you guys kind of jumped on them, I mean, you were up by a couple of scores. You know, you had the lead, and you really kind of, I think, punched them in the mouth, so to speak. They hadn't trailed in a football game all year. Their defense was was outstanding, but you guys were able to find some ways to beat the defense. Yeah, I thought we had some good matchups out there today. Um, I thought the key point was when we, you know, we get the turnover, we just scored, we get the turnover on the kick, the fumble recovery. Um, those are the final moments, you know. Those very good at turning the points themselves. And I told the kids all week, you get the turnover, we got to turn them right into points. And we came right down and, you know, put it right into points. And that, you know, that can put a team on their heels a little bit and get the momentum switched over. And, you know, that kind of carried us the rest of the game going in the half after that. So. How, how nervous were you? after you scored to go back up by 20 and then they run it back for a touchdown 85 yards and then get the two-point conversion and all of a sudden uh-oh momentum seems to be shifting yeah it's it really makes you uh, it's funny you say that because you know when chris just went out with a get his ankle wrapped and he's usually on the kickoff he kind of hangs back you know and does that and i just had that funny feeling all right he's out of the game we're gonna have a kick off let's make a smart kick we we kicked it where we wanted to Quick kid broke a play, and you know I'm like, oh, here we go. But you know, to our you know our kids' strength, they they held through the rest of the game. So, and then the block punt, we suffered, you know, made it through that. And, uh, a little nerve wracking, but you know, bend but don't break. So, you got it done today. We You're did. seven and zero, oh, and uh, as we said, champions of your conference and playoff bound the Winnesquam Bears.